Hello, I'm uh, Daniel Montgomery here with Jeffrey Kerr again to talk about another week of Dancing with the Stars. This week, this week we're talking about uh, boy bands versus girl groups night, uh, but I think mostly uh, we should be talking about uh, the end of the night uh, when, oh my goodness, Heather Morris was eliminated from the competition uh, at Gold Derby where we were predicting the, uh, the winners and the eliminations and we're predicting everything with Dancing with the Stars. Literally no one predicted that Heather Morris would be sent home. Um, in fact, at the beginning of the season, she ranked second in our predictions for who would win the Mirrorball Trophy. Um, she got a perfect score. Uh, tonight or, or last night, you know, right before she was eliminated, and uh, and and so she was sent home. Uh, what did what did you think about that? I think that might have. I think that had to be the biggest shocker I've seen on live television since the producers of La La Land revealed that they lost the Best Picture Oscar to Moonlight. It, well, yeah, I, I kind of wish it was like that. I wish they had opened the envelope and said, no, we're sorry. It was actually, uh, you know, Bonner Bolton or Nick Vial who, you know, uh, bless their hearts. They're not, like, by any objective standard, they're not at all the level at, that uh, Heather Morris is in terms of dancing ability and, 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 and you know, uh, demonstrated dancing skill. Um, you know, is this, is this one of the biggest or the biggest uh, uh, shocker that, that you've seen on Dancing with the Stars uh, since, since you've been watching it? Well, I don't know about that, but it certainly is definitely a standout. I mean, I almost wish, yeah, I agree. I almost wish there was a results mishap. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of wish, you know, I, you know and I, I think it might be a good idea if they, if they did this in the future, uh, maybe instituted uh, like a lot of reality shows have, which have fan voting, uh, like a judges veto, uh, where where the judges get to say maybe once per season, uh, it's like okay, the viewers got this wrong. Um, we're gonna there, there's no elimination. This person gets to stay, uh, and and then and then continue it on that way, because uh, uh, it it really feels like uh, uh, they 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 regret what happened and. Um, you know, and I, and I think what's, what happened was last week when, uh, you know, on Disney night, which is this elimination was based on the scores uh, and the viewer votes from Disney night. Uh, she finished fourth on the leaderboard. She was tied with Nick Vial. Um, they were generous to Nick Vial and not so generous to Heather Morris. Um, you know, and, and, and so everyone who finished under her, uh, Rashad Jennings, Bonner Bolton, uh, and uh, uh, David Ross, as well as Nick Vial, must have gotten a lot more viewer votes uh, to, to get in ahead of her, um, uh, you know, so, so do you, so do you think that maybe the judges have a hand in this in terms of having sort of been a little bit more strict with her in terms of the judging? Maybe it had something to do with it. I mean, again, well, that suggestion you made about the judges giving the option to save her or not, they, you know, that's obviously what the later seasons of American Idol used to see if there is a contestant they like, if they want to keep on the show or just stick with America and have them eliminated. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. On the plus side, she she did have the highest scoring dance of the night, the first perfect score of the season, uh, perfect forty out of forty, straight tens from all the judges. Uh, what, what did you think about uh, about that uh, result in terms of that dance and 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 how 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 she performed and, and how the judges scored her? Well, well, I was just thrilled that she was finally able to get a perfect score, yet. All dreams must, you know, turn into nightmares to the fact that she ended up getting eliminated. I mean, that was, that was such a shocker. And it was the first 10 of the season from, from Len, because we've seen perfect 10s come up, uh, but no perfect 10s across the board, and Len has always been the holdout. Uh, he, has not, he had not given a single 10 uh, this entire season until tonight, so, um, so maybe, maybe his 10s paddle is just bad luck, as it turns out. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I guess since he, it was the first 10 he gave all season, they also made the first perfect score of the season. Yeah, and, uh, and of course the other big event on uh, uh, Boy Bands versus Girl Groups Night was that it was the team dances. Uh, we're down, we were down to eight uh, teams competing, so they split off into teams of four, split off by gender, so the male celebs on one team, team boy band, and the female celebs on team girl group. <clears throat> they both seem to kind of disappoint the judges a little bit. I mean, you know, those those 
free, those freestyle team dances are usually these big uh, crowd pleasers that often get you know bigger scores, and they got eights and nines. Um, uh, what did you think of of team team boy band? Oh, I thought you know I thought they were all right. I mean, I definitely thought that the girl group was on fire, which made me almost wish there was a mess up with the results because they really stood out more than the guys. I mean, especially, you know, having the girl group open with, you know, my boyfriend's back by the angels. Uh, of course, anyone who's seen the musical Jersey boys would be familiar with that song, but yeah, I, I thought the girl group stood out more than the boy band. Yeah, I agree. I, I think, uh, and they only scored one point higher uh, than the boys. I think, I think we're seeing that trend continue, where the judges are being a little bit more strict to the women because they have so much innate talent. Uh, you know, you, you know, you have uh, 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 Simone Biles, who is a gymnast, a uh, gold medal winning gymnast. Nancy Kerrigan is a figure skater, so she has you know some experience with choreography and 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 dance movement. Um, and Normani and Heather, of course, they have danced for a living. Uh, uh, in, in their careers, um, so so the judges seem to be really, really uh, judging them a little bit more strictly because uh, uh, I do think that was more than one point better than than the the, the male team team dance. Um, uh, uh, though I do agree, I do agree with uh, Carrie Ann Anaba in the sense that I thought that given how stacked that female team was with talent, I, I thought they might do like. You know, even more tricks, even more you know, elaborate movement and, and that sort of stuff like that. But they did have to learn two dances, so I can understand why uh, they weren't going completely full out when you know this is their first time doing two dances this season. Uh, uh, what did you think about uh, you know? You know did, did you think they could have packed more into it, or was it about as good as as it could have gotten? I think it was as good as it could have gotten because, you know, I think if they tried to do more, it would have been too much for them to rehearse for one week and one night. I mean, that's a whole lot to take in. Uh, apart from uh, Heather Morris, uh, who, of course, got that perfect score, uh, who were your favorite routines of, of the night? Oh, definitely Simone and Normani. Those were definitely two other standouts to me. What did you like about those performances? Well, for one, I thought Simone really got the evening off to such a great start. I mean, I mean, she may have, maybe it wasn't 100% perfect, but no, she was just on fire. Yeah, she was, she was really good. I thought, uh, and I, you know, I'm obviously not a dance expert, but I thought I noticed like she might have missed a step at the beginning and it threw her off a little bit, um, but I did think she recovered nicely. <clears throat> I do think her one problem, um, Go, overall is, you know, because she has the movements down, she's absolutely on fire when it comes to the choreography and, and the actual movement. Uh, but every once in a while, she, she will still have that gymnast smile, uh, where no matter what the dance is, she will have that same kind of like postured, you know, kind of smile when, you know, sometimes the dance requires more intensity or, or you know, a kind of a different mood. And, and you know, she, she hasn't quite adapted to those differing emotional states for the different uh, kinds of dances yet. But uh, yeah, I, I thought that was, uh, you know, I, again, I'm nitpicking like the judges do for the, these more, uh, uh, these more gifted uh, uh, contestants. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I think she's, she's doing fantastic. I, and she's gonna, she, she was gonna make the finals almost certainly. Although after Heather Morris, I don't know how much almost certainly means. Um, but I think, I think she's pretty safe. Um, and, and I agree with them about Normani. Normani was, was fantastic, too. I knew Len was going to give her a lot of flack for that hip-hop breakdown in the middle of it because they, he'd already done it to Heather Morris for the basically the exact same thing a couple, a few weeks ago. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like thinking, oh, Len's not going to like this. <laughs> well, yeah, imagine just what he would think of Hamilton. <laughs> uh, and what, did you, what, what were the least favorite uh, performances of the night for you? Oh, okay, I guess David, who well, he seemed to have done fine last night. It just didn't seem like anything special. I mean, I know you thought he did better than what you expected, that, but Shamil, you know, I, I guess I can agree with. Yeah, I, I, I thought um, it's weird. Those bottom three. I thought I think the bottom three are correct uh, uh, on the leaderboard. It was uh, uh, Nick Vial at the very bottom and then uh, David Ross and then Bonner Bolton. I would have put them in a slightly different order. Um, David Ross and Nick Vial made more mistakes, I think, 
uh, but they made more mistakes because they had more choreography. Um, and I, I kind of appreciated that. I think Bonner Bolton uh, got off a little easy with the choreography. He didn't have as m many uh, elaborate movements uh, to learn. He, he performed a rumba, and a lot of it was Sharna Burgess kind of, you know, not entirely dancing around him, but there was some of that there. Um, so, so he didn't make as many mistakes because he didn't have as many mistakes he could have made. Uh, so I would have put him lower, personally. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I did appreciate the effort from David Ross and Nick Vial, even though they weren't perfect. Although I, I, I was a little bitter that now they're both, all three of them are, are going to make it farther than Heather Morris this season. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, and I will say that with uh, Bonner, I, I'm no dance expert either, but I did appreciate the story those guests being told throughout his dance. And for Nick, well, Yes, he may not have been anything to write home about. You know, you know, it still looked like he was ha to me that he was having fun, fun, fun. Oh, you know, of course, as the song goes. <laughs> now, uh, now, now that we're going into next week's show with uh, you know Heather Morris is gone, so we're down to the final seven, um, and you know that leaves Normani Corday at the top of the leaderboard um, and Nick Vial at the bottom of the leaderboard. Uh, who do you who do you have a, a prediction yet as to who you think is going home yet, or are you still kind of uh, mulling that over? Oh well, I guess you know anything's possible since Heather Morse was eliminated last night. So, uh, man, I mean, I guess probably between David Bonner and Nick, that's possible. I think. Yeah, I I I, I think they should like in, in a perfect world. I think they should be going off in the next three weeks for, you know, uh, 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 in some order or another. Um, uh, but I, I am a little bit worried for Nancy Kerrigan. Um, I think, you know, she finished in the middle of the pack this week. So did Heather Morris last week. And those same male dancers beat out Heather Morris uh, to, to stay in. And Heather Morris was eliminated. So, so if Nancy Kerrigan, if, if they still have the same fan support, those, those uh, three male uh, contestants, uh, they might they might leapfrog her uh, next week too. I, I I am a little worried. I don't want to see Nancy Kerrigan go too soon. She didn't have her best dance, um, and uh, and and the clips they showed for her training week were a little bit rough. You know she she you know they showed her you know complaining a lot and and you know they they emphasized a lot of the negativity of her her training week. So I'm worried that that's going to leave a, a a kind of a sour note for fans. Uh, so, 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 what do you th do? You think she's at risk, or do you think she's she's safe for at least another week? Well, you definitely make a good point. I mean, I do have her in, in my predictions for eliminations, but I have her at fourth place, only behind Nick, who I have in third, Bonner, who I have in. Well, I guess I guess the top two are kind of interchangeable because I currently have David at first place and Bonner in second. Well, we will see what happens then. Um, uh, I want to thank you uh, for joining me, Jeffrey, again this week, um, as we will continue to do every week for Dancing with the Stars. Um, and, and thank you, everyone, for watching. And, um, and if you, you know, if uh, in every coming week, as we've seen with Heather Morris, uh, you should probably vote uh, for your favorites if you want them stick around. I'm kind of regretting that I don't usually vote and I, I like, well, maybe I should have thrown her Heather Morris a vote or two. Uh -huh. um, but we will see what happens next week. Uh, thank you again. And uh, uh, we will, we will see you later. Mm -hmm.